ready to go with this? Yes. So, uh, question eight, part one. Use division to show that t cubed over t plus q is equal to that. Well, I, th I think we all did it with our measured method for doing long division and remembering that you need to have your zero coefficients in there, don't you? Oh, zero t plus zero. So it looks like that. Um, what would you multiply t by to get t cubed? The answer is t squared, which gives us t cubed plus 2t squared. Subtract to get minus 2t squared, 0t. What do you times t by to get minus 2t squared? Well, you know it because it, it was a show that question. You know there's a minus 2t there, minus 2t squared. Uh, minus 4t, subtract to give us 4t there, bring down 0, t times 4 gives us that, 4t plus 8, subtract, minus 8, and, and <coughs> there we go, and I, I think we ought to finish that off by writing, so t cubed over t plus 2 is that thing that's up at the top, minus 8 over t plus 2. There we go. Um, now let's remember, this feels kind of bizarrely unconnected, doesn't it? Because we now, it's not part A and B though, it's like part one and part two, and we now have an integration question to deal with. Why, why was that part one to that? So we're going to keep an eye out and see if it can be useful. Part two says integrate between 1 and 2, 6t squared, ln, is it ln t plus 2, dt. And they, they do give us something, you're going to in the form. Right, okay. Um, well, this is, it's clearly an integration by parts, isn't it? I think we all recognised it was going to be integration by parts. So, we need to split this up as a u and dv by dx thing. We want the u to be something that can differentiate and preferably gets better and the dv by dx to be something that we can integrate and hopefully it doesn't get much worse. But natural log provides its own little problem with this, doesn't it? Because natural log has always got to be the thing that you differentiate. Do you remember that? Because we, we don't. The way of integrating natural log is to use integration by parts. Differentiate it first. So, our u has to be the natural log of t plus 2, and our dv by dx bit is the 6t squared. Differentiate ln t plus 2, and we get 1 over t plus 2. Integrate 6t squared, and this, this was a bit frustrating because quite a few people made a little mistake in integrating this. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, that's 6t cubed over 3. So it's 2t cubed. There were quite a few bizarre 3t cubed in there, or, or just the wrong power creeping in. We put this together then. So our integral is u times v minus the integral of v du by dx. Between 1 and 2. Now, this is the bit I said to watch out for it. Why did we do that part 1? It doesn't seem to make sense because it wasn't about integration, but now you notice we've got to integrate this. It doesn't fit many other rules. It's the top isn't the derivative of the bottom. It's not a partial fractions thing. We can't split it up. You look at that and, and really we're a bit stuck on how to integrate it. We could do some crazy bracketed things, but we're not going to go into that because they wouldn't work because that's all rubbish. So we're going to have to deal with this somehow. Sorry, man. Um, look, there it is. T over, T cubed over T plus 2, T cubed over T plus 2. We've got it twice, but it's, it's there. So we're going to replace this with what we found out before. This is t 
2t cubed and then t plus 2 minus twice the integral, because I don't want that 2 hanging around, twice the <coughs> integral of t squared minus 2t plus 4 <coughs> plus 4, sorry, minus 8 over t plus 2 dt between 1 and 2. Aha, look at that. Now we've got something that we can work with. It's a bit of a long uh, answer. Well, we've got 2t cubed ln t plus 2 minus twice. Integrate this and we get t squared, uh, t cubed over 3 minus 2t squared over 2, so t squared, plus 4t. And then this is our natural log again, isn't it? Minus 8 over t plus 2, that's 8 times the natural log of t plus 2. Oh, between 1 and 2. There we are. Let me just continue. <coughs> Which is a bit of a mammoth answer going on there, isn't it? At which point we're ready to sub in some numbers. You're subbing in 2 and you're subbing in 1, and hopefully this will all tidy up now. So if we sub in 2, we get 2 times 8 ln 4 minus twice. Well, this is 8 over 3, minus 4, plus 8, minus 8, ln 4. And then we're going to sub in 1, which was the lower limit, gives us 2 ln 3, minus twice, a third, minus 1, plus 4, minus 8, ln 3. I wish, but I think I would probably stick all the, the non-log bits into a calculator and hope for the best. Um, what have we got? Well, we've got 16 ln 4 minus 2 times minus 8 ln 4. So that's 16 plus another 16. So we've got 32 ln 4. We've got a t minus 2 ln 3 there, and we've got plus 16 ln3 in there, so that's, that's an 18 ln3 that we've got from there. 14. Is it? No. No, it's 2. Minus 2 times minus 8 is plus 16. Yeah, but isn't it minus all that? Yeah, minus all of that. Oh, okay. Is that alright? Yeah. It is, it is 18, isn't it? Yeah. Did anybody have the right answer for this? I can't find the mark scheme. And here's the earning of the. Yeah, it is. It's, a, it's a minus 18. It is right. And then what we've got number wise, we've got um, all sorts going on here, haven't we? Um, there's, there's a plus 4, um, and there's an 8 over 3, so that's 20 over 3, minus 2 times it, so that's minus 40 over 3, and here we've got, um, what's that, a 3, and a third is 10 over 3, double is 20 over 3, so that's plus. 20 over 3, because it's minus minus, and I think that's the, that's the final answer, is it? Um, yeah, we've got minus 40, plus 20, so minus 20 over 3, it wanted it in this order, and then it wanted a minus 18, and then 3, and then plus 32, and then 4. It, it was a bit horrible, wasn't it? That last mark of just kind of collecting all of those things together. So you lost one.